Libra. This is y'all weekly message. So Libra, somebody ain't gonna hurt you again for what I hear, y'all. No more. No more. Your hurt days is over. From what I had heard, child. What I had heard. Somebody could be a Gemini. Let's grind. It's 10 or 1 on the clock, so 10 or 1 could be significant. So this week we're gonna do some mantras. What mantras y'all need to do this week while y'all meditating? Let's see what y'all got. solar plexus and we got fluidity so we got that is reassurance mantra and fluidity mantra okay number 15 says Inner well-being, inner nourishment, and safety relieves tension and assists pelvic and prostate issues, enhances circulation and reproductive and urinary tract systems, calming and stabilizing. Instructions is to grasp the left thumb with the right hand, curl the left hand over the right hand, touch the tip of the right thumb to the tip of the left index middle and ring finger relax the shoulders and belly and belly and find your natural breath okay. your solar plexus is the meaning of city gym solar plexus the ram so aries uh color golden yellow Ten petal yellow lotus flower, digestion, pancreas, fire sign element. Inner refreshment, emotional ease, nourishment, releases muscular contraction, supports joints and eases inflammation, cultivates emotional fluidity and calmness. Uh, Place the right palm over the back of the hand, left hand, both hands facing downward. Keep all the fingers stacked while extending the thumbs out of the side. Hold hands and fingers extending outward away from the abdomen. Alright. See. So which I got going on. So the third, the third, the thirteenth, and the fifteenth of the month could be significant. The universe said, "Take your time, don't rush. You're ending a cycle. You're ending a cycle of burdens." Strength card, Leo, gang, gang. So you're having courage. To follow your intuition. You're no longer letting anything hold you back. You know that you need to follow your intuition. You could be up late at night. Something could be significant about the full moon. You could um, get a lot of your downloads at night. 
or around the full moon. Somebody could be doing that moon magic as well. You got the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. Somebody wants to give you a love offer because they love you and they see forever with you. And they want to move forward. Somebody wants to recognize you as their forever. Somebody wants to show you that you are all that they want and all that they need. This emperor, this emperor wants to show you that they love you and they want to give towards this connection. Somebody could be obsessively thinking about this and how they want to invest in this. They're no longer gentling. They want to give you what you deserve. And this is going to balance out the scales. Somebody could be manifesting what they want. And they could be manifesting the Ten of Cups. And this Four of Wands, some type of stability, home life. They could be dealing with your twin flame. And this is someone, somebody could be, um, y'all could be getting over a lot of hoops and hurdles. Nine of Cups. Somebody's definitely doing some type of magic spells. And it's going to wind up breaking somebody's heart. Somebody's heart could get broken because of these spells. It's supposed to be making somebody cold-hearted or somebody was cold-hearted that did these spells and it broke somebody's heart. It caused somebody to be standing up for what they believe in. And somebody's looking at things from a different perspective. Because you are surviving things and you're seeing things in a different perspective. You could have took some time out and you're looking at things differently because you're no longer stuck in a different, stuck in a hit, stuck in a particular, uh, stuck in a particular mindset. You're looking at things from a different perspective. You're seeing things clearly. You're seeing that all your manifestations are coming true. You may be looking at things from a, a different perspective. Somebody's birthday could be in the winter time, or somebody has been cold hearted or callous and no longer want to be that way. Somebody that you walked away from. Somebody was cold towards you, but now they are ready to open up and make the necessary sacrifices because somebody is tired of being sad and lonely, feeling abandoned, feeling left out. Somebody been going through the dark night of soul. Somebody been fighting against yourself about a commitment. Somebody been in their head about thinking about a commitment they want to give someone by taking a risk. And now they want to head towards a particular person and give them a solid offer. This may be a small offer, but it is a solid offer that somebody wants to give somebody. Like, you know what's up. So maybe you expect this person to give you a, um, a love offer. But they are on their way to give you a love offer. And maybe this is what you manifested. Somebody could have manifested something under the full moon as well. I really want to sex your body all my life. You to love. Gemini, Virgo, Libra. Three, three, three can be significant. Um, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Virgo, uh, Aries. I'm not sure who this person is, but this was y'all message. I love y'all.